folks, we're here in Wekwemekong on Manitoulin Island. We're at the 10th annual Wiki Fishing Derby. We're chasing $50,000 in prizes. We're about to blow the horn and get this derby started. Here we go, Luke. Let's go, fish on. All right. Life offers no guarantees, but the one thing we've learned for sure is that the time we have is indeed precious. The more time we spend with family, friends, and with nature, can make the difference between living a good life and living a great one. Join us on our quest to be participants rather than observers, to learn from our mistakes, to share our successes and our failures as we spend all of the time we have chasing our dreams, fueling our passion, and fueling the fire. So I'm with Luke Wasagizic. He's uh, the coordinator and the mastermind, if I might, uh, if I can use the title, uh, to, to plan this this derby. And it's the tenth annual. What what do you think? What's going to happen? What are your expectations? You know, for the last ten years, it's been it's been a good time. You know, it's a fun time on the ice. This year, we're hoping you know to to reach those numbers. Every year, we usually do about 500 people. Those great odds of winning. Oh, yeah. Right, a prize for sure. Yeah, oh well, for sure. You know, you know this derby. It's it's really it's just about out about coming out and having a good time. We've had winners here. You know that you know they're about eight, ten years old to you know some some older folks. So you know it could be your you know the first time fisher or the season angler. Now there's a there's an extra prize here, and it's a twenty five thousand dollar prize. What's that? Yeah. Well, you know one of the one of the things we. We, um, we pride ourselves here at the Derby is, is offering lucrative prizes, offering something new every year. So this year, we partnered with Aon Insurance to offer this new contest called the Lucky Catch Contest. The and Lucky Catch, okay. So what it is, it's a $25,000 prize for the person that catches the third tag fish and matches it with a computer generated number provided by Aon Insurance. You catch that fish, you match that number, you win the $25,000 prize. Oh, kind of like catch or chase the ace. Kind of like chase the ace or right. hole in one. <laughs> right, that's right. So it's a, a, an extra shot if you do get that third uh, that third tag fish. Yep, for sure. That's a great prize. Man, you guys are stacking up for this derby. Oh, for sure. This year we're moving the derby social over to uh, to the Wapamakong Arena. So it's going to be on the ice surface. We're going to be able to accommodate a little bit more people. And then again, a trout dinner uh, provided by Buzzwa Fisheries. So it's, there's a licensed social at the arena. Uh, the dinner still comes with it. Yeah. Uh, that's where all the prizes get drawn. It's going to be at the arena. It's $110 for a ticket. $110 for a ticket. That gets you tons of door prizes as well. You got to get in to the early bird registration prize. That's the big one, right? Because you got maybe half, you got double your chances because you usually sell about half of those tickets for that early bird. So if you want a shot at $1,000, make sure you have your Okwemekong 10th annual ice fishing derby ticket by January 19th. We're here on Manitoulin Island. I'm with Luke Wasagizic from Wasagizic Tours and Wiki Tourism. This is a fantastic derby. We've got a great ice fishing episode. Actually, it's trout from all over the island. We can't wait to bring it to you. We're about to start this derby. How much in money? We're over 30,000 in prizes, $18,000 in cash today, Neil. $30,000 in prizes. We're about to, we're here for the kickoff. He's gonna blow this horn and people are gonna start ice fishing. Let's check out who wins that $10,000 prize. Here we go, folks. Let's go fish on. We've got our first fish caught, 8.23 a.m. Your name? Matt Foley. Matt Foley, where are you from, Matt? Sudbury, Ontario. Sudbury, Ontario, first time through the Derby? Yes, sir. Awesome, how'd you feel to be a winner today? Feels good. Right on. I wish it had a tag, but uh, it'll do. Right on, so I'm gonna weigh this fish. I'm gonna have you hold this right here. I mean, folks, when you're fishing Manitoulin, this is some of the stuff you're gonna find. Uh, with our trout episode that we're filming here with Fuel the Fire TV, this is typical of a Manitoulin Island rainbow trout that you see a lot of them you catch are in this range anywhere between two to you know we, we get them up to 20 pounds so we're here in Manitowoning Bay we're gonna get this one weighed out we've got an official weight of 1.54 pounds 1.54 pounds we're gonna release this guy we're gonna get him back in Manitoulin Island folks fish on all right we're running all over the ice the fishing is fast and furious this morning 
We have our first tag fish, and it's 1.41 pounds caught by Diane. Diane. And is it the first tag? It's the first tag. That's 10,000 bucks, are you kidding me? <laughs> the Wiki Derby is a fantastic opportunity to get outdoors, folks. Diane just netted herself 10 grand. That's awesome, woo! Diane's here with her $10,000 winning lure, uh, like a little perch, actually, yeah. with trebles on both sides, tipped with a minnow, and it was purchased, where'd you get this? At Andy's. At Andy's, and I believe Andy's is one of the... One of the, one of the local stores and one of the sponsors of the Derby. One of the sponsors for the Derby. Keeping it simple here in Wikwemekong. Congratulations, that's an awesome fish. Closed captioning for Fuel of Fire TV is brought to you by Best Tech. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Wikwemekong Tourism. Hey folks, welcome back to the program. We're here at the Wikwemekong 10th Annual Ice Fishing Derby, and I'm with Paxton Holmes from Cambridge, Ontario. Fish he caught is a wild rainbow. How much did it weigh? Uh, 584. 584. 5 5 so that puts him in second place right now. That's a $2,500 fish. $2,500 fish. No nice. tag, so. No tag. Not quite the $10,000 we are looking for, yeah. but you know what? It's going to have to do, right? What, folks? We were in Killarney and Killarney Mountain Lodge, as, lo as well as the Sportsman's Inn, big sponsors and supporters of this year's Derby. We were out there last weekend, beautiful opportunity for snow machining in a, in a very tranquil place on this planet. You have to check it out. The Lacloche foothills are the oldest mountain ranges on the planet, and this place is a slice of heaven. Killarney and the Sportsman's Inn is plunked right in the middle of it all. It is an absolutely beautiful still morning. I can't wait to get out on the snow machine just for the vistas alone. If we catch fish today, it'll be an absolute bonus. This place is one of my most favorite places to be at this time of year. It's Ontario's best kept secret. We're making our way back to Manitoulin Island and um, you know this is one of our stops. We had a great night at the Killarney Sportsman's Inn. This is one of the spots that's actually <clears throat> an interesting thing here. Probably uh, maybe 10 years ago that the cages released. Yeah. released. Yeah, about there. So every once in a while, Mother Nature does its thing, and, and um, you know it, it actually opened one of the cages with ice, and they released a bunch of uh, of trout. Now that's not always a great thing, but because <clears throat> for anybody, but what it did do is it gave the this place a little boost. Right, in, in terms of fishery. Right, and you know, Neil, like, I, I've been, I mean, and this is one of the reasons why I stopped, I, I've been targeting this this area probably since about uh, 2008. Right. Really, and since those caves broke, but I mean, that's one of the reasons uh, why now in the spring, you know, I'm chartering for rainbow trout. I mean, it's because of, you know. The stocking efforts, but also, the, you know, those little, I guess they're a bonus to the, to the fishery. Right, right. And that's yeah. one of the things about the island and, and the North Shore, you know, we're surrounded by aquaculture farms. Uh, the setup today is, you know, I want to try to bring them in with the Williams Wobbler, get some flash out of them. Some of the other lines we have out here um, have trout bait, so they're still lines. Right. And you know, the idea is to get that flash, get those rainbow to come in and hit either the Williams or one of the setups I have beside me with the trout bait. Awesome. Okay, well, let's get that set up and uh, we'll see what happens here. Oh, Luke's got something on here. This looks like a good one, Luke. Yeah, it feels like the fall is really good. Nice northern coming up here. Oh, beauty. Beauty. You know, not only is the snowmobiling and the scenery beautiful here in the Killarney Manitoulin region, the fishing is great too. We're out here targeting rainbow trout at the moment. I'm going to go out for some Lakers, but this was a pleasant surprise. You gotta love it. A nice northern pike here in Fraser Bay in the Killarney region. Man, this is just awesome in here. It is a perfect day to be out on uh, the sleds and enjoying, uh, you know, Killarney Bay, Fraser Bay, McGregor Bay. I forgot how much, how much fun it is to actually go snowmobiling. We're always so busy doing whatever. No, it's awesome. You know, especially when you're out here 
um, and you see that transition in landscapes from you know from from the Killarney region now making your way into Manitoulin. You know, it makes you know makes you appreciate that you know we, we truly are blessed to have this kind of landscape. Absolutely, it is uh, like they say where the spirits come to play. This whole area, the vistas and the backdrops, and uh, it just makes me want to fish. Let's go drop some lines before we go home. Let's do it. All right, we just got set up here, and I can see fish on the sonar. And they're chasing this. They're chasing this lure up, and it's a pretty simple setup. What we're using, and I'm going to add. I was sending it down just with a, without anything on it, to see if I could get any reaction from these marks that we're seeing down there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of trout bait on there. I'm going to roll it up into a tight ball, and I'm going to put it right on one of the trebles and see if that actually creates enough attraction for them to finish the job. Like I said, we're fishing in about 60 feet of water. <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna send this right to the bottom and see if we can hook up one of these fish that are chasing this lure. Uh, I can see it on the sonar, so we'll see what happens here. All right, that was fast. We just got here. It's a gorgeous morning in the Killarney area. And uh, we're fishing in about 60 feet of water. And it looks like we got a good little lake trout. I saw him on the sonar and he hit it hard. He should come right up to the top. I see him right here. That's like a decent fish. Oh, he wants to fight this guy. Oh, he's got this thing wrapped around here. That's the problem. We'll fix that in a second. He's on there good, I think. He's going crazy right at the hole. Come on. I can see him. Oh, he's maybe a couple pounds. He's having a hard time. Oh, that's a good little eater. We are looking for an eating trout, an eater trout, and this is perfect. This is a gorgeous little two and a half pound uh, lake trout, and we are looking for a nice little eater, and this is going to be a perfect way to start the day here in Killarney. All right, here we are at the Sportsman's Inn Killarney. We're actually at Sporto's Bar and Grill. What a great day we had in uh, Fraser Bay, just about 20 minutes from here. It was fantastic, Neil. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better day. Um, you know, better day of fishing, a better day of, you know, just riding the trails is beautiful. We talked about uh, the La Cloche foothills being 4 billion years old, but that ride in on the trails is, is so picturesque. You know, you're carving through all those old conifers. That's great. I, I love doing that. I, for, I forgot how, how fun that is. Oh, no, it's beautiful. And, you know, it, it being Killarney being so close to Manitoulin Island, you know, you forget how close it is and how beautiful that ride is. Right. Be. Right, and, and it's also close to the city. I mean, we're not very far from, from Sudbury and all the trails that connect to Northern Ontario. This has to be one of the spots, a destination stop for sure. Oh, definitely, Neil. I mean, you look you look to the north, you have the city of Sudbury. You look south, you have, you know, the, you have Perry Sound and the, the, the countless amounts of trails that connect into the town of Killarney and connect to Manitoulin Island. Right, the snow belt is right there. Um, the amenities here, they've got a super friendly staff at the Sportsman's Inn. Um, they've got a big dining room uh, area. You know, this is just a great place. The rooms are immaculate, um, well kept, nice fireplace in there. Fantastic. Right. You know, it, it's one thing to, to really see Killarney during the summertime, but it, it is truly is something to see this place in the wintertime. Right, because everybody comes in the summertime. I mean, it is super busy all year round, but this is uh, just a gem for for a winter uh, getaway for sure out in the shack today jody just finished telling us and then he went over to see you uh, about you know what i've seen way more wolves than i've seen um in in years past and i walk outside and we see this giant wolf running across the ice it was it was a cool thing to see it's been a while since i've seen a wild wolf but that's fitting for these guys and their motto which is we are wild. There you go. And that's what we were today. Tomorrow, we're going to fuel our passion, fuel the fire, and get outdoors all over again.
This segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by the Sportsman's Inn. But we're here at the Derby and uh, Kyle. Kyle has caught a 2.5 pound fish. It's a rainbow and uh, he's middle of the pack. So it's probably worth somewhere around 2,500 bucks. Uh, definitely in the money. And uh, he caught it on a, on a trigger. So we're gonna show you that in a second. Hey folks, in this week's learning curve tip, we've got a unique little setup here. It's made by Black Fox Fishing and Brendan actually makes these things. Explain to me this setup, uh, Brendan, how does this work? Well, what it is is uh, on the market, it was pretty hard to find something that was compact, yep. easily to set up and come up with this simple concept. So you could also set the sensitivity. Yep. So that's it, it's set, it's ready to go. Fish strikes the line, sets Boom. it off. Yep. And away you go. Fishing. Yep. That is a great product. Again, it's Black Fox Fishing and uh, it's called the Trigger. Neat little thing. That's this week's uh, learning curve tip for you from the Wequemecong Fishing Derby. That was a great fish at the Wiki Fishing Derby. We snuck away, we snuck off the island. We're north of Highway 17 and we we're with the Black Fox Fishing Crew. We're trying out the triggers and we're going for brook trout. Quite the battle to, uh, to find this lake. We had to come through some, some secret spots for the Black Fox fishing crew. Now that we got our the, the trigger set up, uh, the boys got the fire raging and uh, it's just start gonna start be off. a waiting game. We're fishing in about 25 feet of water. I'm using a slab grabber on this one. And then I've got a forage minnow uh, tipped with some live bait on, on my other rod. So uh, 24 feet, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll get some hits there close to dark. So we're getting uh, a little later in the afternoon and we're starting to see a little bit of action on the rods here, which uh, could indicate maybe a maybe a little bit of a later evening bite, which is which is always great. You know, coming out to new uh, speckled trout property and lakes is just, it's its exciting. It's exciting in itself, walking out onto that new, uh, onto that new unexplored lake. But you know, with these black fox fishing guys, they're they are a little bit crazy. And, and the last time I went fishing with them, we had a funny story where Brendan actually gets us all by, by tugging on the end of someone else's uh, fishing line and we thought it was a big fish and man we had a good time that was that was hilarious planted out a bit oh. 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 <laughs> it's that one over there <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on <laughs> and you know the other thing is is that the fishing was a little bit slow when we got here, so these guys they wandered over up that big hill and found a great big jump. <laughs> you never know what these guys are going to do uh, out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, and it's out too. Nice. The look colors the on powder, look yeah. at the colors on that fish. That's look a wicked that. little uh, a wicked little specimen. You know what? We said we we're gonna put the first one down the hole and then we're gonna cook the second one. That was good. Good job, Beautiful, man. Beautiful, man. Nice. Excellent. Look at those. Eh? Oh, oh. Meat and there he goes. That's awesome. Wow, oh. look at that. Oh, on the trigger. Yeah. Man, look at how pretty <laughs> that fish is. Wow, and they're hitting on these trebles too, eh? Look these, at that. Wow, these are a pretty, pretty fish. Look at the dots on this guy are way smaller than that little fish. Yeah, yeah. much smaller. Right? Way it's smaller. Yeah. That's crazy. That is going to look awesome in the fan. Fueling the passion <laughs> and fueling the fueling. fire. Out here with black box fishing in uh, central Ontario. And Brendan here, the inventor of the trigger. Getting it done. That's two for you today, <laughs> man. Good stuff. Stay Six tuned, folks. Points. We're going to be right back. This segment is brought to you by Maqua Adventures. Hey, folks. Welcome back to Fuel the Fire TV. We're with Caitlin from Sudbury. We're at the Wiki uh, Fishing Derby, the 10th annual, organized by Luke Wasagizic from Wiki Tourism. And she just landed a six pound, actually 5.99 pound rainbow. It's a wild rainbow. She's leading the pack. And I think, what's first price? 3,500 bucks? 3,500 So, bucks. so far, you're $3,500. Let's hope that stays up for today. Let's check out some footage from uh, a fishing trip that we took south of Manitoulin Island. We're fishing for trout at the Duck Islands. 
That's right, let's warm things up a little bit. Although we're ice fishing for trout on Manitoulin during the Wiki Derby, Manitoulin has a great fishery all year round. And the girls and I always take time in the summer to go to the western point of the island to visit the Duck Islands. It has Desert Point, um, it has the lighthouse, it's the one of the oldest lighthouses in Ontario. It's still a wooden lighthouse and the fishery is great. Aspen does a great job on reeling up this decent laker. Yeah, just keep it, yeah, just keep it like that. Keep it up. Okay, reel it, reel it, reel it. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, that's good. All right, I can see him. We're fishing the Duck Islands. And Aspen seems like he's got, looks like a lake trout on the line. Just keep reeling it in. Just like that. Yeah. Keep reeling it. All right, nice fish, Aspen. Oh, it's a good fish. It's a nice laker. Oh, that's awesome. Woo! That was a great fish. And you know what? Seeing the smile on my kid's face, on anyone's face when they're catching a fish, that just brings joy to my heart. And there's nothing better than doing that and watching people catch fish. Now we are ice fishing. And speaking of watching people catch fish, I'd be remiss if I didn't show Diane's footage of her catching her first lake trout through the ice on our Killarney trip. This looks like a good. Oh my God, I see bubbles. Real good fish. First, First yeah. lake trout here in the Killarney area. Awesome. That's a fantastic fish. You know what? We're going to throw that fish back down the hole. And there he goes. Fueling the fire. Fueling the passion. Getting outdoors. Awesome Woo, job. That's it. It was exciting. It was a little bit bigger than we wanted, but it was still a great fish nonetheless, and she does a great job. Pretty much brings us to the end of our ice fishing episode for the Wiki Derby. I just want to give a shout out to all of the organizers, Wiki Tourism, and all of the sponsors who do such a great job. That, that derby wouldn't be possible without the countless hours of volunteers, whether it's drilling holes, taking tickets, selling tickets, and everything else. It's a fantastic opportunity to get your family out outdoors. It's a great way to visit Manitoulin and a good chance at winning some decent money. That's it for us folks. Remember to fuel your passion and fuel the fire. You got to get outdoors. We'll see you next week.